Hi friends, today I would like to talk on the particular condition called saluria or excessive salivation or drooling. You know that is quite embarrassing when you go out and uh, when you speak, if the saliva comes out or if there is a drooling from corners of the mouth, it's so disturbed, uh, distressing. So you know that it can occur as a part of different clinical conditions. It may be, you can see it in people with the mentally, who are mentally challenged, those with the cerebral palsy, those who have some problem in and around the mouth, some um, infection in the throat, in the epiglottis or in the tongue, face or anywhere, some local pathology or any cause which would damage the nerves like a facial palsy, 12th nerve palsy, 10th nerve palsy, various uh, nerve disease or it may be due to some condition called myasthenia gravis or some part of a neuropathy, Glen Barry syndrome, various myopathy, dystrophy, brainstem stroke, Parkinson's uh, syndrome, Parkinson plus syndrome, myasthenia gravis or uh, you know brainstem stroke, many many or multiple sclerosis for or motor neuron disease. So many many diseases can present with the drooling in addition to their uh, primary problem like weakness and other condition. It's so distressing that uh, it would impair their social well-being. So uh, when when you find someone with this condition, you, you have to see why is is caused. Whether it's some local pathology is there, where any nasal obstruction or sinusitis or allergy is there, or whether the patient is uh, having a mouth breathing, or whether any neurological or um, other. Um, psychosomatic conditions so you have to address those uh, conditions initially followed, followed by various uh, medication can be a, a sub, uh, conservative care can be various uh, drugs available you can have uh, botulinum toxin available surgery is available and irradiation is available so the uh, the first thing is uh, look out for any obstruction in the nose or in the throat or in the mouth or face Second thing is uh, avoid or prevent mouth breathing. That is more utmost important. This you should have a mouth issue. Then thirdly, what you have to do is uh, you can have some de device placed in the mouth. That can be used. Can be can get the help of a dentist who would uh, tell you what to do. Fourth thing is uh, if there are any uh, issues with the you know where there's a neurological problem, you have to treat all those things. Uh, Always change the position of when you sleep. The the position of the your uh, the way you sleep you have to change. If you are um, lying on one side, keep it uh, stri straight uh, in the supine position or uh, back in the you know the back sh back should be on the bed instead of uh, lying to either sides. Second thing is uh, you can put some pillow behind it so that it can uh, change the direction of the flow. Thirdly, we can use various drugs like uh, various anticholinergic medications are available which would prevent, which would um, uh, you know, uh, dis or inhibit the flow of the nerve impulse from the various glands. Then you can have a patches available, you have tablets, but sometimes this causes drowsiness, urinary problems and eye problems. So you have to get the help of a doctor. Botulinum toxin is an important addition to the treatment of uh, silurea or drooling. You can inject the botulinum toxin to the gland, either to the parotid gland or to the submandibular gland, where uh, you can take the help of a ultrasound, ultrasonogram. You can direct the needle to the gland and you can inject uh, one or two sides, maybe 10 to 30 units in on either sides. This would help to reduce the flow of the saliva, the salivation or the saliva for three to six months. It is very really effective. It is proved all over the world. Other treatment options are you can remove the gland by a surgical extirpation of the gland. It can be done. The last option would be a radiation of the glands, uh, you know, the parotid and this gland. That, that can also give very good relief. So uh, to cut it short, I, 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 I would like to tell you that salary is uh, not uncommon, especially seen in people with stroke and other uh, neurological illness cerebral palsy and various other uh, condition in and around the mouth and throat. This can be largely treatable. If you don't treat it, this can cause infection here, can have aspiration and physical, psychological stigma. It is treatable with uh, various medication, various conservative line of treatment 
and treat any problem in the uh, nose, throat or the ear. Allergy has to be treated, mouth breathing has to be stopped and treat with the medications, local botulinum toxin, injection, surgery or other measures. So, I hope I could give you a small idea on siluria and the prevention and treatment of the, this particular condition. Thank you, thank you very much.